Hi everyone and welcome to Fresh From My Garden. Just like we harvested nutmegs from the garden the other day, we are going to have another spice that is a common part of every spice box in the Asian kitchen and that is the bay leaf. And this is the bay leaf tree and these leaves are harvested and dried so that we can use in biryanis and a lot of Asian cuisines. So since it is constantly raining here, we won't be able to sun dry these. So we'll have to figure out a way to dry them on the counter or in the oven. So stay tuned and please do watch the rest of the video to see other things that are growing in our garden and are getting ready for harvest. Now first let's take a walk through the garden to see if there is anything else that we can harvest today. And as you can see there are a lot of jackfruits on this jackfruit tree and we would like to harvest one of them if they are ripe enough to be harvested. Now there is one simple way to know if the jackfruit is ripe enough for harvest by touching or feeling the skin of a jackfruit. As a jackfruit is forming, the outer skin of the jackfruit is usually spiky and sharp. So when a jackfruit is spiky and sharp on the outer shell, that means it is not yet ready for picking. And as the fruit matures and as it starts to ripen, you can also feel that it starts to get softer and the spikiness reduces and it becomes more rounded on the edges so this jackfruit still has those spikes and it is not rounded there is another one which can be probably harvested but it won't be ripe inside raw jackfruits are also used to make chips stir fries and several other dishes but we would like to harvest one that is really ripe so that we can enjoy the tasty and sweet fruit in addition to jackfruit, we also have another variety known as the breadfruit, which is a variety of jackfruit. It's a smaller version and it doesn't grow as big as a jackfruit and it is mostly used for stir fries and different other savory dishes. So as you can see that there are a lot of these breadfruits forming and they'll be ready for harvest soon. And coconuts are definitely a very essential form of most South Indian cooking. So we have a lot of coconut trees and this is a cashew tree that was a part of this land when my parents purchased this to build their house. Now here's a quick view of some of the pineapple plants and they are starting to turn yellow and ripen so that we can harvest them before we leave. And this is a pear apple that is in my parents' garden and I have never tried this fruit before and it tastes so much like the regular apple. Though it is smaller in size, the taste is very similar to that of an apple and I was little hesitant to grow this in my garden because I didn't know if I would like it but this is a really tasty and juicy fruit. Now the kids are helping me pick bay leaves from the tree and it's a nice way for them to see the different things that are growing in our garden that we can harvest directly from the garden and use them in our kitchen. And this tree was really small a few months back and it has quickly grown to give us a good harvest of bay leaves that we can use for a variety of dishes in the kitchen. So since it is raining, as I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, we cannot sun dry these leaves and we will be drying them in the oven. So it's a very simple method that I will be sharing in this video and I have also shared previously where we can dry herbs that we harvest from our garden and we can use them and store them for a longer period of time in our kitchen. So every now and then my father harvests some of the leaves and today we've just harvested a small bunch of leaves from the garden that we're going to dry and store in the spice box. 
so here i have these leaves that we have harvested and i'm just going to rinse them out and since it has been raining it's not really dirty or dusty but still there are a lot of bugs around and it's better to always rinse them out before we dry them out and store them in the spice box i have a baking sheet and some paper towels onto which i'm going to lay them out in a layer and pat them dry before i put them in the oven to dry completely it's also better to wipe these leaves clean completely so that there are no tiny insects or bugs that are sticking on to these leaves because of the rainy season there are a lot of bugs tiny insects and mealy bugs around so we want to make sure that there is nothing on them and it is completely clean before we put them in the oven or put them out to sun dry once they are completely clean and wiped dry they need to be spread out onto this baking sheet in one layer so that they can all dry out uniformly as they are placed in the oven and it will take some time for them to dry out completely now here i have the oven ready and it is going to be set at 100 degrees celsius and i'm going to start by setting a timer for five minutes whenever we are drying herbs we should not put it at one stretch into the oven because there are chances that it can get burnt so we can leave them in for five or ten minutes at a very low temperature and check on them every five ten minutes so that we know the right consistency and we know when it needs to be turned off so my daughter here is helping me set the time on the oven she is actually setting the clock on the oven and once the clock is set she is going to help me set the oven so she is the one who really uses this oven a lot because it's in my parents kitchen and i'm not really familiar with the settings on this oven after placing this in the oven we need to check on it every 5 to 10 minutes and this has to be done repeatedly for a few times till the leaves are completely dry and when you pick up the leaves you can hear the sound that you hear when i am pressing these leaves and you can see that it is starting to crumble or you can hear that crunch sound of the leaves so now these leaves are all dried up and they are ready to go into our spice box so i hope you enjoyed this quick vlog of harvesting these bay leaves from our garden and using simple methods to preserve it and make it a part of our spice box it's always a wonderful experience to be able to grow food in our own garden harvest them and enjoy them with family and friends knowing that they are organically grown and pesticide free it's also very important that we teach this to our children and future generations so that they learn to value the organic food that comes from our garden and the hard work and the passion which goes behind it so please do keep watching supporting and thanks for watching fresh from my garden